All right, good day, you. All right, thank you for tuning in to an energy drink review from Tits Beer Mom 420. It's one that, yes, I could have reviewed it a very, 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 very long time ago because it's not new or anything. But when some gas stations or some variety stores have it, it's like two ninety nine, dollar ninety nine type price, right? Why am I gonna pay two something or three something for it? So I never had it before. Um, then out of all the different dollar stores we have here, the one chain actually has this in their dollar store. So it's like I passed on it in the past, and I thought, why not? Let's just get it to review it and you know show people the differences from the original and this version. And then plus where you live, it might have some differences. And I've seen other people reviewed it before, even if it's late into the game. So who cares? Because, you know, I'm limited to what I can find for energy products here. Extremely limited. Like, there's a lot of them in the world. I don't know what they're like. And some don't come here till like, months and months later after other people have had them and stuff. And then some are just not cheap. They're expensive. So... It's not like there's a whole lot to choose from right now in the stores. But there'll be some to get in the future. I'm going to have extra cash for it and stuff. I can use towards it. But anyways, folks, we are looking at AMP, sugar-free. Now, the difference between this AMP and maybe your AMP. I've noticed some AMP cans, like here, they say power on them. But some places they say boost. But not here. Um, now, looking at the two cans... This is the one with the sugar, this is the one without the sugar. The sugar version has 220 calories, where the sugar-free is 10 calories. Um, the sodium in the sugared one is 115 milligrams, 5%. It's 125 milligrams, 5% in this in this version. So sugar-free is still the same percentage, but the milligram-wise, it's 10 more. Um, carbohydrates in sugar-free is 1 gram. It's 58 grams, 19% in this version. The sugar in this is 58 grams, and there's no protein. This has no sugar and no protein. Um, PepsiCo puts out um, these products, and it'll say one address on the cans, but if you call the 800 number and you press 1, it tells you their address and their website, and their address says something different from on the cans, and if you press 0, you're just talking to somebody, apparently. So, whatever. Now, um... Guarana seed extract, it adds caffeine to your beverage, but not every company will say in brackets what the percentage of caffeine is, so this does not say that, so I can't take the percentage and do the math with the caffeine content to find out exactly how much caffeine's in here. So this has 142 milligrams of caffeine plus whatever amount the guarana seed's adding to it, which could be a lot more or just a little bit. So it's the same caffeine content in both of these. Um, the dollar store only has these two and the berry, and the berry has more caffeine and a little more calories than this. Um, the teas and the juices, I don't see them here anymore. I've only ever had the orange juice one, and the teas were like the best ones and stuff. And with the old amp cans, one of them, I forget which flavor, but it gave me like a sugar drop level feeling, so I was like all weak feeling. Plus, I was also feeling energized from sugar. And I had like dry milk and needed like a whole glass of water. But anyways, the differences in the ingredients. This one adds um carbonated orange juice, which I can never taste in it. And it has corn starch or no? Not in, well, it says corn maldextrin, but this says corn starch in it. I don't know if that's a difference. So there is a little bit of a difference to the ingredient list. Because this one is carbonated water, glucose, fructose, citric acid, natural flavors, carbonated orange juice, granite seed extract, sodium benzoate, um, corn milk dextrin, caffeine, panic, ginseng root, taurine, ascorbic acid, the calcium disodium, EDTA, brominated vegetable oil, and color. Where in this one, it is carbonated water, citric acid, natural flavors, citric pectin, granite seed extract, sucrose 280 milligrams, sodium benzoate, sodium whatever, big long H name. Modified cornstarch, color, caffeine, acuflame, potassium at 52 milligrams, panic, ginseng root extract, taurine, the calcium, dissodium, EDT, and salt. So a little tiny different ingredient list, and pretty much just the same boost except the two typical sugar sweetener things instead of the sugar. 
And as you may notice here, I say power, but I've seen this hand somewhere in the world. It's a boost. And, um, yeah, 10 calories, 220. What in the hell? Right when I cracked that, folks, fucking, I don't know if it picked up on camera, but a whole whack of it just flew right off and might have hit the wall and fucking hit my arm. And there's a tiny little bit on my mouse area of the keyboard. And there's a little bit on the can. And you can see some of the carbonation going up, smell wise. Um, I'm going to say it smells different somehow. Like, like there's a little differences to this do give it a bit of a different taste smell because really amp is just your Mountain Dew now also another thing I noticed those cans that say boost on them they claim that there's B vitamins in the drink where if you get the can saying power there's absolutely no vitamins in the drink and the only thing different from basically Mountain Dew is that they you know add ginseng add guarana and add taurine and then that's pretty much the only thing they do. And then they can call their citrus pop an energy drink because that's really all it is. Just more caffeine and then those few added ingredients. I don't always drink citrus pop. But there's another company I'd rather drink their citrus pop of because it tastes better and smells better and it's cheap and, you know, it's lower caffeine. But that's not the reason why I'm drinking it. And um, you can also get Mountain Dew here. There's two versions. You can get it diet or not diet with the without the caffeine or the citrus charged caffeinated version. And once they brought the caffeinated version here, um, they were giving out free bottles once. Oh, it smelled bad and tasted bad. If I wanted Mountain Dew without it being the energy drink version, I'd rather just, you know, the original one. But look at that, folks. You see it kind of yellowish. When I was pouring it out, like it looks yellow to you, it almost looks like Red Bull, right? But to me, it is this uh, very bright green color. And the only other drinks they had at the time in the dollar store I was in, all the amps were in the fridge with their pops. But if you went to a different aisle, warm on the shelves, you could have got a Red Rain shot for a dollar, the um, eight and a half ounce can of it for a dollar, same exact thing, just more to drink, or the Red Bull for two dollars with or without the sugar. And Red Rain is the exact same drink, just a tad little more levels of the B vitamins. But anyways, I'm going to say this smells a little bit different from the sugared version. And on taste. It doesn't smell as sugary. Obviously, because it's sweet, it doesn't have sugar, but it still could smell sweeter. And, um, it doesn't taste exactly like the sugared version. Um, it kind of tastes lighter and a little creamy. Maybe a little creamier, smoothed out kind of taste, but it's a lighter tasting uh, citrus drink with a bit of a smoothed out, creamy like taste. Whereas the other version, you don't get this smoothed out, creamy like taste, and you just get this really sugary, heavier tasting uh, citrus drink. So basically, uh, it's not sugary because of the sugar's gone. It's not so heavy because I guess the less calories and the way they're doing the sweeteners in this drink, it's not making it taste like a sugar bomb or anything. And if anything, I would think that this one has the orange juice to it instead of this one. But it's not listed in the ingredients because it does taste like it might have a hint of that maybe. But basically it's a lighter, smoother, somewhat creamy citrus drink years ago i found that 7-eleven in the slushy form and had the sugary slushy form of it once i thought the sweeteners would make this taste extremely sweet 
and really gross. Sweeteners may be worse for you than sugar, but it's like, truthfully, I'm going to say I like the sugar-free version more. But if I want citrus drink the odd time, I would rather just get this one other company's citrus pop. And just before I leave, Zevia, they apparently do um, a mountain Zevia, which is supposed to be a citrus one, where that one has no sugar, no sweeteners, and just stevia in it. But one of the flavors that hasn't been distributed here. And Amp Energy Power Citrus Sugar Free. I'm going to say I like it more than the sugar version. Um, paying a little over a dollar with the tax is a better price than two to three something. And it's okay. And I'm repeating it. Probably not, but you never know. Peace.